everyone's waiting for the new patch, but apparently Goxy has some inside information. Okay, I can tell you guys some inside info, but I can't tell you guys how I know. Patch is probably not coming soon. Someone should tell Tigav that before he begins one of his I dig a hole to China until patch is released streams. <laughs> Please, Valve. How much longer? Please. His dedication is admirable to say the least, considering the fact that Valve is forgetting something very important. Well, we are here to remind them. At the moment, the state of Dota is in no way stale. If anything, I would say it's getting somewhat exciting. This year, we will see a couple of tournaments hosted by ESL, a few others by PGL, and some others in between. We are so back, boys. And even though Dota is back, Grubby is not. After a year and a half of playing the game, Grubby managed to reach 6k MMR. Congratulations, I'm really happy for you. He managed to pick up the game pretty fast and learn all the tropes in and out, unlike this guy. I'll get rid of this item, sir. Quick, right. Uh, right click the item on the bottom left of your backpack. This? No, no, on your backpack. So the three slots below your items. That's your backpack. So the, the bottom left. The item on the bottom left of your backpack. Slot one in your backpack. What? Slot one on your backpack, Timothy. What the fuck is on a backpack? The fucking three slots under your item. Here. Yes. What? Now you right click that one and teleport what? to neutral stack. But it looks like even a great player like him has their limits. He came out on his stream to announce that he will be taking a break from Dota 2, as a lot of players in the game tend to be a bit difficult to handle. I'm not enjoying it as much right now, but it's not because it's not a good game. It has the best client that I've ever played with. But there's just one little problem. Some members of the community. Too many people that are either watching or that you're playing with in solo queue ranked that just don't know how to have a good time anymore. Yep, toxicity is quite an issue in this game, but what can I say? I guess some of us are just built different. I did get a lot of practice with my parents. You merely adopted the dark. I was born in it. Molded by it. Dora is like a free-for-all mental asylum. If you can survive in here, you can survive anywhere. But that wasn't the only thing that pushed Grubby to quit Dora. As it turns out, our boy Jenkins decided to do a bit of trolling by impersonating BSJ for a whole year. Well, you know how I have my Discord name is BSJ. I was fostering a genuine friendship with Grubby because he didn't realize that I wasn't BSJ. So Brian would like do a stream and like say something about like lifestealer armlet interactions and stuff. And then Grubby would message me being like, do you buy armlet second item? Like they would theorycraft and I would theorycraft as if I was Brian back. And I'd be like, dude, thank you so much for like the message. Like I really appreciate it. And I built an actual friendship between them. <laughs> but then one fabled night, they both live in Netherlands, like Grubby was going over to Sheever's house, and so was BSJ. And he messages BSJ saying that he's gonna be late. And I just go, fuck you. <laughs> uh, what the f***? That is some unhinged shit, man, and you need to be locked up. He shows up at Sheever's and Owen reveals to him that I have been BSJ the entire time. And Grubby genuinely had no concept of why somebody would do such a thing, especially if it was- <laughs> Especially if it wasn't for stream content, because I wasn't I wasn't doing it like I hadn't made it public at all. It's just something I was doing for myself. With the rise of AI, there's people who worry about deepfake scamming people, and then there's this criminal mastermind who could just do it on Discord like it's a side hustle. And speaking of side hustles, Samael's lawsuit has come to a conclusion. According to Richard Lewis, after a two-year battle, Samael has lost his case on all counts. Despite EG being as dead as Hong, this corpse had enough fight in it to fend off the TI winners' charges. Samael? More like Sumail. <laughs> On a more positive note, more PGL tourneys, more money. And while it looks like there's more money flowing into the scene, it seems not a lot of it is going towards the casters. In general, I think it's been fine. Of course, we just want to... We don't want to be fine, we want to be good. So, I mean, just text me. Me too, Nomad. Me too. And to finalize this episode, I left the biggest piece of news for last. The Prodigal Son returns. Big Daddy Nautil is going to take Sepp's place in the next match against Nouns. And oh my god, am I so excited to see some old school OG Dota. Wait a minute. What's the date on this? Oh, come on, man. Why, why would you toy with my emotions like that? I don't understand why you hate on me, Nip. Show love, Nip. Show nothing. It don't cost nothing to show a Nip. I will don't get money. Show some love, Nip. Wabbledy dabbledy. To summarize, this year in Dota is looking mighty fine, so we're all gonna be okay. 
Oh, and before I forget, ESL1 Birmingham is happening at the end of this month, so I'm gonna be there. And, if, and you know, you could join me, we can hang out and maybe kiss. It's up to you. See you there.